If you've ever wanted to create a contact record and concatenate a couple of fields together, let's say the first three letters of the company along with the record ID and make that the key field, it's a little bit difficult because you don't know what the record ID is yet. So temporarily what you have to do is put some value in there to, to, to uh, satisfy the need for the key and then have a pipeline come back and update that value to the real key field value. So let, let, let's go to uh, Bering's uh, music, for instance. And uh, we'll use uh, Tommy, Tommy Tunes. And uh, notice that we've got this being built. Now this is taking the first three letters of this, making it uppercase, and, and because there's no record ID, this is adding six zeros to the end of it. And when we save it, a form rule will take that value and put it in, and there's uh, Tommy Two Tones. Let's go look at Tommy Two Tones. It took this value and put it down here. Now already a, in the background, that should have been zero, 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 you know, with six zeros. But in the background, a pipeline fired and, and grabbed that and really updated this, this data here. So there's a bunch of, let's first take a look at what the formula is that makes this happen. Okay, um, as we linger here, let's make this bigger for a second. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're taking the left of the company with three characters, and, we're, and you can see everything's going to be uppercased. So we're taking the left, we're putting a dash in here. You can see the quotes around this text string, which is a dash. And then it's taking a look at... Um, if the record ID is blank, then I want you to use these zeros because it doesn't exist yet, right? So this satisfies us being able to have something there to copy into uh, that field. Um, and then this over here, um, or the uh, right, I want to be looking at six characters uh, resolution and I want the number to start from the right hand side. So I'm saying go to the right, um, and I want six characters, and so it's going to give me zeros unless the record ID fills in up to that number of records, but anyway, uh, uh, um, characters. So um, we've got this formula, and now uh, when we save the record, we have a form rule, and the form rule takes the value that's in that formula, um, and here we go. When the record is saved and the new key field is blank, we want to change that new key field, the, the real key field, to the value of the formula. And down below here, there's a checkbox that says only fire. Uh, it's hard to see off the, off the page here because I'm, I'm making the page purposely um, small. Okay, so that's moving the value. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, pipeline that fires. So we see a record has been updated and it moved the value um, over into the system from the formula in. So, so let's take a look at this pipeline. We start up here whenever a record is created and we pull that over records created in the contacts field. We're going to be playing with the key field and uh, the formula and the actual key field, and but only if the new key field contains um, zeros in it. So it wakes up and says, I need to update this um, field. Um, we are pulling over here for updating a record, and it says that it can use the information from step A and we added a field and it was the new key field because we want to put something in there. It's the value from step A, which is the new key formula. We just pulled that into there. And, and so that will update it. We then turned it on. We went back over here. Let's um, add an extra record um, and we'll say new. And um, I don't know, Billy's bikes. And uh, Billy is the guy, is the guy's name. We're going to save this. 
it created that temporary the form rule copied it down now um, here's bill and already we've the it has it hasn't fired yet there you can see it but i'm going to refresh the the screen now and you're going to see that the um it has been updated and now we've got that predictable key field that we know to be able to import in child records and things like that anyway we cover things like this in uh Office hours, we hold these every Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. East Coast time. You're always welcome to pop in. We, it's an open Q&A form. You can find out how to register at quickbase.com slash webinars.